Shalom to everyone who's come here from near and far. And I choose the word shalom because of its double meaning. Hello and peace. As you may have guessed, I'm from Israel. I recently moved here to the Big Apple and I'm really, really excited to be here. Now, I recently attended the Jewish Heritage event and Mayor Bill de Blasio even said that Israel is the sixth borough and it really does feel like home. For those of you who don't know, the Algemeiner's advisory board was chaired by Nobel laureate Elie Wiesel before his passing in July 2016. Wiesel was a Holocaust survivor and author, but he is perhaps best known for someone who gave a voice to the voiceless. He has so many great co quotes, I'm sure you're familiar with many of them. I chose this one. Human beings should be held accountable. Leave God alone. He has enough problems. Wiesel clearly had a sense of humor too. And he didn't say this of course to disrespect the Almighty, but to emphasize how much responsibility we have as people and as journalists. So the Algeminer is determined to continue to share the stories that must be told and heard. And it's in this spirit that I would like to welcome our distinguished guests and speakers, James Tarento, Siggy Flicker, and Adam Margolis. You can clap. <laughs> We'll hear from them very shortly. We will also unveil the Algeminer's annual list of its top 10 stories, so stay tuned. Some good stories ahead. I'm also delighted to welcome our event chairs, philanthropists Ari and Lauren Ackerman. Thank you for making tonight possible. <laughs> and on that note, I would like to welcome Ari Ackerman to say a few words of welcome. Thank you so much, and uh, an honor to meet the honorees, uh, who I have not uh, had an opportunity to meet before tonight, but I've admired from afar, so thank you guys for being here, and uh, look forward to hearing what you guys have to say as well. Um, my name is Ari Ackerman. Uh, my wife, Lauren, is right there. It's an honor for me to host this event, I think for the fifth time. Um, and let me say how impressed I am to see so many people here. I think this is the largest event they've ever had, that we've ever had. Uh, yeah, worthy of applause. And it's especially, I think, impressive because it's New York City, it's a Wednesday night, uh, it's the summertime, you guys have lots of options, right? But, uh, I mean, there are some cute Jewish boys and Jewish girls here tonight, so that makes it a little more appealing to be here. I like the Siggy's laughing, clapping about that. Appreciate that. Are you looking for a nice Jewish boy tonight? You have your. I used to be a so I oh, oh, there you go. Well, you'll hear my spiel about Jewish continuity in one second. <laughs> um, so I, I, you have options, but you're here, and to me that's impressive because in some place in your heart you feel the uh, the need or the, the desire to be somewhere to learn about Israel and uh, and the truth and what happens in the media. And, to me, that's amazing and impressive. So you give you should give yourselves a round of applause for the being here tonight. As for me, it's an honor, as I said, to host this event uh, for the fifth time, really for two main reasons. Uh, the first of which is uh, I have a, lo a real love for my family. I'm very proud to come from a very Zionistic, but also a very philanthropic family. I love being called philanthropist. I appreciate that. Um, my grandfather was literally one of the founders of the State of Israel, was a former president of UJA. Uh, my grandmother's family had the first pharmacy in Tel Aviv. Um, but the person who I really learned um, tikkun olam and the importance of giving back to the world was my dear mom, who I lost five and a half years ago. But her uh, amazing, generous, generous philanthropic spirit and um, beautiful, magnanimous smile are in my heart for the rest of my life. She's the one that really taught me uh, all about this. So I always look up to her and remember her and love her. Um, the other reason is, as I said, I have a passion for Jewish continuity. Uh, almost an ardent, like, zeal, like, crazy passion for Jewish continuity. I even started a Jewish dating app called Tribe, 
if anybody wants to join. He's a nice Jewish boy to do with this. We should talk later. Um, yeah. And uh, uh, so anybody that knows me or talks to me for a second knows I have that passion. But why specifically the Algamite? Um, first, there's David, who's having a sip of water right now. If you've never heard David on television, you are doing yourself a disservice because he's an amazing representative of the Jewish people. His voice is powerful and strong, and we couldn't be more thankful and appreciative for the way you represent all Jewish people, and especially the work you do with Yadam. So thank you, David. That deserves it. And, but more importantly, the Alga Minor itself. Um, I literally read it every single day. I see stories in the Alga Minor that I don't see anywhere else uh, that are meaningful to me, um, that really have an impact. And in today's world of BDS and anti-Semitism and anti-Israel, all the crap that's out there, um, Alga Minor is such a great, solid, strong voice um, to combat all the stuff that you sh that's all fake and the stuff that's real is, is, and true is, is represented in the algorithm. So that's the reason uh, I enjoy reading it every single day. Uh, literally every single day. Um, so as Americans, as New Yorkers, as Zionists, as frankly as human beings, um, it's really our obligation to do all we can um, to protect the miracle that is the state of Israel and the amazing uh, continuity of the Jewish people, sustainability of Jewish people, um, for all these years. It's our obligation to do all that we can. So keep coming to Alga Minor events. Tell everybody um, the truth that you hear tonight and uh, do all you can to support it, all the work that's going on here. So I hope you guys have a great night. Um, I hope you meet some nice Jewish boys and Jewish girls here where you can continue, I keep saying that, right? Where you can continue your own personal Jewish continuity. That's an important part, right? So enjoy, but I actually have one other thing I wanted to say. Because before I left tonight, my house, I got uh, this present from the Algemeiner. Yeah, <laughs> you got it also. So it's dated July 11th, which I believe is tomorrow, and it says, Dear Ari and Lauren. Oh, that's today. Well, it's dated today. But I don't know what day it is. All right, Dear Ari and Lauren, thank you truly once again for being a part of last night's magnificent event. The feedback from our guests has been overwhelmingly positive, and many were touched by your heartfelt personal words. I guess they know what I'm gonna say, and I don't know if I was heartfelt or personal, but apparently I am, or I was, so. Please accept this gift as a small token of our appreciation of your generous support. We look forward to staying in close touch, warmly, David, Kana, and the Aga Minor team. So, premature, but I hope I lived up to the present they, they gave me. Back to you.